could be it. Can I help you there? Sure. Those are supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Guess I'm taking the shortcut. <laughs> in this town and you're helping everybody and everywhere there's troubles and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met your son the sheriff okay mr gray here was saying how he had problems with a family a family of degenerates oh well nobody likes degenerates the hag and her inbred sons they ruined this county they killed my uncle you know that ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. The fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Oh, horse stealing. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Okay. Quiet right. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Watch out! Sorry. Careful. There's a no, guard. A I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. That was easy. Someone will come see you. Why, thank you. Hey, 
That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Alright. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. Head around the front. Hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Some horses. Let me do the talking. Oh dear. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in? What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. Hey. Uh -huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need no... Buddy recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. You're okay. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy, Easy now. <laughs> Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Okay, tough guy. Oh, shit. You're not what I want. Whoa to do. there. Easy. <laughs> Whoa. You're okay. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. Oh shit. Wait. <laughs> God. Marston, you right point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! I got the back! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! Stay close to the horses! We don't need any more trouble! You get some dead! Let's go! Dead! Look out ahead! They're coming out of the fields! Ah. Oh. Watch it. There's guards by that way. Send it out, right? Go. I'll hold them off. Ah. There. Gates blocked. Go left. Into the fields. <laughs> Keep going! I'll get him! 
Stallion, baby. Come on now. Hey, Morgan. Over here. You got him. Well done. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. All right. Going. Well, that could have gone smoother. <laughs> That'll be on Fine. my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. Come here. Fine. Gotcha. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Ripped off big time. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Sounds about right. And how are you this morning? You spoke in a Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you. Oh, touch. Good morning, Arthur. All right. Hey, Arthur. Yes, Can I have a quick Shea. word? Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he, like he always says. Loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off. So now, 
I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said... Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Oh, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, <laughs> Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. So you'll get shot. Come on, then, you miserable bastards. Yo-ho! How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all in five minutes. Well, while wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Uh, well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> nope. Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit. Hey! Think I say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Let's go, let's go. Go! Get rid of them! 
Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Ugh. Silly old fool. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! I hate it. Now, let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Shit. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> That's like the gun. gun. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Can't say shit. Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas. Like it. Behind you, Charles! More of the bastards on this side. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall is going up to security. More on the right uh, here. That was a close one. Someone help me out here. Oh. Be still for ten goddamn seconds. You got us into this. There's a goddamn horde of them on the left here. Ah! This fella really don't like getting raw. Let's just hope we don't run out of bullets. Boom. Don't worry, fellas. We ain't going out like this. No goddamn way. 
I can run. Split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Parker, with me. And if you don't move, you sit here on your own. Oh, shut the hell up. Quick. Behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left, and I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my right. Shh. <laughs> There's only one right. You see anything? Not yet. Follow my lead. Bastard! You better not disappoint me, fella. Made him. Uh. Oh! Ah! 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 Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Just stay in there while I'm not enjoying it. Guess we should go give him a hand. Fuck that. Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Never man, split up, Gwonk. Run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. 